Hi guys, this is Weekly Wax Melts number 23. Yes, I understand and realize that I am a day late again, but that's because I knew I had a small order coming from a small gift certificate that I had received from someone and I wanted to combine that cold review with this warm review because I knew that that order should have been here yesterday. Um, but I forgot that because of Veterans Day, there was no mail delivery. And because I used the Smart Post option, which I guess it wouldn't have really mattered had I used the regular FedEx option anyway, because they don't deliver on Mondays. Um, so anyway, I had to wait until today for that order to show up. I guess I could have done the melt review anyway on its own and then done the cold review on this other order. But why not just combine the two, right? which is what I'm going to do right now. And I will start with what I melted last week and then I'll do the cold review for the order that did arrive earlier this afternoon. So I melted French crumb cake, which is a four and three quarter star sent to me. I've talked about coffee bean recently a couple of different times. Ashton and I just talked about it the other day in that review. Um, that's a five star scent for me and Frenchville coffee is basically coffee bean with a hint of vanilla so I really enjoyed that one a lot I melted lemon blackberry pie which is also very similar to another of my favorite five star scents lemon ginger snap pie lemon blackberry pie however is obviously missing the ginger snap um, and has just a hint of added sweetness from the blackberry I give this one four and three quarter stars as well I do prefer lemon blackberry pie over this one because I like that little hint of ginger snap that you get. I melted nectarine plum oatmeal streusel. I give this one four and a half stars. This does not smell like a bakery scent to me at all. I do smell the plum immediately. That's the first thing I smell. Um, and I do get a hint of the nectarine and a little bit of creaminess from the oatmeal. I do not smell any strudel at all. There is, there is no bakery note to my nose in this. So if, if you're not a fan of bakery scents but are a fan of creamier fruity scents, I would definitely try this one. Um, to me it smells probably because it's lacking that bakery note that I associate with a bakery scent. To me this smells more like um, like what a body wash would smell like so it was nice it's not a favorite but it was nice I melted cotton candy four and three quarter stars now I've heard people say in the past that they think this is a very light throwing scent I found it to actually be a relatively good thrower now this is a scent that I have had for probably a year or so um, and this is one that definitely benefits from extra cure time. At least I thought it did. When I first got it, I smelled there is a hint of strawberry in Victoria's Cotton Candy. It's not a straight up spun sugar like I was hoping it would be. Um, so that strawberry scent in there kind of threw me off a little bit when I first got this. But now having sat for as long as it did, the strawberry has dissipated a little bit and I do get more of that sticky regular cotton candy sweetness that I was hoping for. So four and three quarter stars on this one. It's not an exceptionally strong throw. I'd say it's more of a medium throw when, at least for me, having let it sit for that long. And it, it was long lasting. So I liked that one. I melted marshmallow banana dream cake. Three and three quarter stars on this one. This is another, I don't know how long I've had this. Um, this is one that did not benefit from cure time. I can smell a hint of banana in here cold and I can smell a hint of cakiness. I do not smell any marshmallow whatsoever, nor did I smell anything any stronger um, when it went in the warmer. It was extremely light. I did get a little bit of that peppery note that I sometimes get from or always get actually from cheesecake and from creme brulee now I don't know if either one of those scents are in here or not 
but that's kind of what it smelled like to me when it went in the warmer. I melted Christmas Kitchen. I love this. Four and three quarter stars. This is pumpkin, cinnamon, and orange. Um, I don't smell a lot of orange cold. I get more of the pumpkin and the cinnamon. Ashton actually was the opposite. She smelled more of the orange and the cinnamon. Um, but once it, once it went in the warmer, I did get more of the orange out of it, and it was a candied orange. And this is a perfect name for this scent because it kind of reminded me of when I was a kid. Um, you know, we didn't have all the fancy candles that we have now, or if we, I mean, the candles we did have sure as heck weren't scented. Like, you know, there was no candles by Victoria or even Yankee or any of those to my knowledge. Um, they were just basic candles and you were limited on air fresheners and that sort of thing. So there were a lot of times at Christmas time, um, especially that my mom would throw cinnamon or cloves or a combination of the two, maybe some orange peel or some dried apples or some lemon in a pot on top of the stove and let it simmer and then that would freshen up and scent the house. The main reason she did it wasn't to scent the house because my mom was a clean freak so our house always smelled of pine saw and I mean it never ever ever smelled dirty. Um, the main reason she did it was to put moisture in the air so we didn't have to run the humidifier constantly because when you live in an extremely cold climate um, like we do, uh, you know, when you have the furnace running all the time, and especially if you have a wood stove going, you get a lot of static and it dries the air out. And Anyway, so that's why she boiled these pots of water on top of the stove and by throwing the cinnamon and oranges and that kind of thing in there, you know, it just freshened the house up even more by at, and in addition to adding the moisture. So anyway, Again, another Cliff Clavin moment. Actually, that wasn't a Cliff Clavin mo moment. That was just me boring you to death with another one of my childhood memories. Um, anyway, Christmas Kitchen was a perfect name for this one. I really enjoyed that one. Pumpkin Pralines. Everybody knows this is another one of my favorite scents from Victoria. My favorite pumpkin scent so far. I only have a little bitty tiny amount left in here. This is another that Ashton and I talked about the other day because um, because I am this low, I, I did just recently order another scent shot, which I will use quicker than what I finished this off. Um, mainly because when when it's a little fresher, not saying that it... Um, that you shouldn't let it sit. You can, obviously. I've This one I've had for going on two years now. Um, but more of the cinnamon, more of the spiciness that is in the pumpkin came out um, by letting it cure for that long. I prefer what I smell when pumpkin pralines is a little bit more on the newer side. I get that butteriness from the caramelized pralines that in, that's in there and the earthiness of the pumpkin. I just... That's when I prefer pumpkin pralines rather than um, the spiciness that I get. The longer it cures, the more spicy it becomes. Hopefully that made some sense to you. Either way, it's a five-star scent for me and one that I really, really enjoy. So now for the cold review on the little order that I got, and it is a little order. Um, I ordered a Woodwick candle in Eskimo Kisses another of my favorite scents and one that I figured would be perfect for Christmas time not only because it's minty and I think most of us associate um, uh, Christmas with you know candy canes and minty scents this is spearmint not peppermint but either way and as Ashton is so fond of saying to her this smells like Christmas taffy like the little taffies that you get with the Christmas tree in the center of them so I love this. I just thought this would be a perfect scent at Christmas time with the popping of the wick. Um, I haven't trimmed it yet because this did just arrive today. Victoria suggests that you cut the wood, wood that you trim the wood wick. Sorry, candles with a toenail clipper because the wood is um, a little bit too heavy 
for a standard pair of scissors. I don't know, maybe you could use a pair of kitchen shears if you have those, but I'm going to use the toenail clippers that she suggested. And she also suggests that you trim it um, almost level with the wax to get the right melt pool on this. So um, I'm going to let this one sit for a week or two before I actually light it up, maybe in time for Thanksgiving. Not that I plan on having Thanksgiving dinner here this year because the kids are all off doing something else and Phil will be out deer hunting, but still, that'll be nice. Peach preserves. I had this before. It's my favorite peach scent, and I ordered it just because I was out, and I like that scent. More Tricks Up My Sleeve was a create a scent that I did in April of last year. Not this past April, but the year before, 2012. It's a combination of Tricks Are For Kids and Pink and Lime. You will get that almost powdery cereal note in here, but then the addition of the pink and lime makes us at the same time a very very tart almost lemon like scent so I really enjoy this one and it's one that I haven't had since it first came out so thought I'd give that one a try again strawberry jam is new to me and not what I expected for some reason because it's I suppose because it's jam I expected this to be a super sweet strawberry and that is not at all what I get out of here. I think fresh picked strawberries is actually sweeter than this one. This to me has the same salty note that I get from like strawberry danish and sweet southern breakfast. Um, neither of which are favorites of mine. So I'm going to reserve judgment as I always do until I throw this in my warmer. But right now I am not really liking that salty note. I was hoping for something sweeter, but we'll see. Blueberry Monkey Bread was the free scent shot. And I cannot believe as much as this scent is talked about and loved that I have not tried it before this. Why, I don't know. Because Cinnamon Raisin Bread is my favorite, all-time favorite bakery scent from Victoria as everybody who watches these reviews knows by now and I also really like her blueberry scents and this is just a wonderful combination of the two from what I'm smelling here so I'm excited to try that one once as I had some cure time wild berry scone I've also had before another favorite if you like um, country Berry Hotcakes, this is very similar to Country Berry Hotcakes, but without that salty note. Um, it also smells a little bit like Blueberry Butter Pound Cake, which just came out, what, like two months ago? Something like that. This is another one of those scents that's not like super, super heavy. heavy. <laughs> Again, I'm not editing, so you have to put up with me tripping over my tongue. Um... This is not super, super heavy on the bakery note. So, if you, another, that if you're not a big bakery fan, but you do like fruity scents, I would definitely give this one a try. And I really like this mixed with um, Pink Noel. I did that quite some time ago, and I called it uh, uh, Snow Queen. So, I'll probably do, you know, maybe half of this that way again because I liked it so much and then the other half I'll warm just by itself as I always do. Rocky Mountain Christmas this is wonderful now this just came out but I didn't order it um, in my uh, spotlight reviewer order I could have but I didn't because this is a combination of sugared spruce and leaves type I love sugared spruce, but I am not a fan of leaves type, so I hesitated. Um, and then I thought, well, you know what? You're never going to know unless you try it. And I say that all the time, and then, you know, it takes me a week or two to wake up and remind myself of it. I don't smell leaves type in here at all. I do smell sugared spruce, and I smell something that smells a little bit like apple to me. Now, where that's coming from, I have no idea, but that's what I'm smelling. 
I can't say that this smells like I mean it does smell like a forest whether it's a forest in Colorado or Wisconsin or anywhere else that they have you know pine trees and spruce trees and yes there is a difference between balsam and spruce and white pine and red pine and we've got them all um, yeah I'm not sure where that apple scent is coming from but I really really like it this actually kind of reminds me now there are a lot of Christmas tree plantations around here a lot of our trees get sent to states like Florida um, you know, I'm sure a lot of them end up in New York or, you know, wherever you have these big, big Christmas tree lots. A lot of the trees come from around here, as well as other parts of the country, obviously. But um, th most people around here, if they're going to buy a Christmas tree, will go out and just cut their own off of one of the, the Christmas tree plantations. We do have, however have a couple of spots here in town where the people who own the the tree farms will set up a little booth just like they do you know like you see them do in the movies and you go in and buy a pre-cut tree on occasion they will have an urn full of coffee or hot chocolate or apple cider or something sitting there for you to enjoy while you're looking for your tree that's kind of what this reminds me of. It reminds me of looking for a Christmas, a pre-cut Christmas tree at one of those little Christmas tree, you know, stands that are set up in the local parking lot and drinking a cup of, of apple cider. So, and peanut butter and jelly, I ordered a three-pack of this. Another, this is, I call this my happy scent. I can't tell you what it is that makes me like this scent so much I don't know but I do so I ordered a three pack and I can actually smell peanut butter a little heavier in this one this time around for some reason which is not a problem um, I love Victoria's peanut butter scent I love the jelly scent I love peanut butter and jelly as a scent period so that's it for this week guys as always thank you for watching and I'll see you next week